we are going to solve another problem with list we shall have to delete one item from the list the item may be found at the head or may be found at the tail part of the list so here is the problem description for us delete an item from a given list here we can have two cases if x is the head of the list then the result after deletion is the tail of the list if x is getting deleted so if i want to delete x and if x has been found as the at the head part of the list then we shall remain with the tail part of the list if x is in the tail then it is deleted from there so whenever we are going to delete one item x then the item can be found at the head then i shall remain with the tail part otherwise the item can be found at the tail then i shall have to delete that item x from the tail part of the list so here is a problem hints for you you are supposed to write the code accordingly so try to write the code yourself and the demonstration is there as follows there we shall show you how to write the code and how to do the query execution on the respective program in this program we are going to delete one element from the list and as a output we shall get the resultant list accordingly so clause number 1 is if y is getting deleted from a list where y is the single element there then after deletion of this element y from this list containing y only will be the null list that means containing no element so now in the second case if x is getting deleted from a list where x is the first element and list 1 is the tail part then as a result we shall remain with the tail part only that is the list 1 in the third clause if we want to delete x from the list which is having y as the head and list as the tail part then in that case x is not getting a match with the head part then i shall have to delete this x from the tail so the resultant list will be y as the head and the list one will be the tail where x will be deleted from the list to get the list one so in this way we are getting this uh, three clauses on the del so now let me go for the del operation in execution so del c a b c d e f x so that denotes that del del is now going to delete c from this list so the resulting list will be free from c so now in the second case this is the source list and this is the truncated or reduced list i want to get that which element is has got deleted in that case the answer is d here so answer is d here so now in this case if i want to delete c from the list which is containing c only then the resultant will be a null list so in this way i have tested my program and it has been found working fine thanks for watching this video